Hey everybody and welcome back to Mondays with Dr. Crystal. Today I'm going to tell you guys about some awkward stories that I've experienced in my career in medicine. Stay tuned. Okay, so a little background to this first story. When you come into the doctors and you're being evaluated for something like a cough or maybe just a general physical, I want to make sure I get a good listen to your lungs. And so essentially when I get out my stethoscope, I want you to take nice deep breaths so you can open your lungs up all the way and I can hear all those sounds and then hear all the sounds when you blow it out, which hopefully isn't much besides the air coming in and out. Sometimes if someone's a little stuffed up in their nose and they're trying to breathe in and out of their nose, it'll create extra sound. So we want you to breathe really big in and out of your mouth. And that gives us the best listen. And we're listening for things like crackles, wheezes, that kind of stuff. But hopefully we don't hear any of that. So picture me, a nice little innocent intern, my first year being a doctor, and I walk in to evaluate a patient. So I grab my stethoscope, put it in my ears, and I say, all right now, big breaths. And she says, excuse me? And I was like, big breaths? And she was like, oh, I thought you said big breaths. So I get embarrassed very easily. I turn B red, I can't help it. Every single time I'm a little bit embarrassed, so I turn red and she's perfectly fine with it. She's laughing. But ever since then, I've never said big breaths again. I always say deep breaths and I've never had that issue again. So that was one moment that I'll always remember. Whenever I think about it, it makes me laugh. And honestly, I think about it almost every single time that I listen to a patient's lungs. So it kind of had a big effect on me. <laughs> Okay, so these next two stories aren't mine, and then I'll finish up with my most awkward story. So, my best friend in med school, she doesn't want me to mention her name, I told her I was gonna tell this story today, but she gets very embarrassed, and so she wants to make sure this is not identifiable. So for those of you who know me, she's my best friend, so that should help you figure it out, and she's a doctor in Canada now. So when you first start off in medicine, you encounter a ton of words that you don't know. You quickly find out that there are some words that some people will say one way, some people will say another way, but there are some words that everybody says the same. So in med school, once we started our clinical rotations, as a medical student, you're required to give presentations all the time. And so my best friend had to give a presentation about croup. So if you guys don't know what croup is, it's an illness caused by a virus that gives a nasty barking cough. Sometimes it needs to be treated by steroids. And so my best friend was going to give a nice presentation about this to her fellow med students and some attendings um, and some other people in the department. So afterwards she comes back and she's telling me about this presentation that she gave today about crew. And I'm like, you know, I'm not a doctor yet. I'm still learning, but I have never heard of an illness called crew. So I was like, what is she talking about? It turned out that she gave an entire presentation about this illness called croup and called it crew the entire time. I felt so bad for her. I think I get embarrassed easily, but she takes it to a whole new level. And so actually she texted me about this the other day and that's kind of what prompted me to make this video right now because how many years later is it? We are six years out from this event and she's still thinking about it. I'm sorry for bringing it up again now, but I told you I was gonna do this and I didn't say your name, so I kept my promise. So this next story is actually two stories in one because it happened twice. Not to me, but I'm hoping that you guys can help keep it from happening to me in the future. So on two separate occasions, I had friends who went in to see a patient and the patient is sitting on the chair in the room, but naked. No gown, no sheet, just laying it out for all to see. And this is like in the chair in the room. They're not even sitting on the exam table, like sitting in the chair. Now believe me guys, we've seen it all. It's not weird to me to see 
a naked body, but it's still shocking to open the door to a room and someone is just sitting there, but naked. Now, I'm not trying to say anyone should ever be ashamed of their body, but if you're at a doctor's office and you think they might need to examine some part of your body, we will give you a gown to put on or a sheet to put over you, and usually we'll come talk to you first and then have you get undressed, so no need to take all your clothes off and sit there and wait for us. We will tell you if you need to do that, so please, if any of you come see me in clinic, please don't do that. I told you already how I get really embarrassed. It'll just be really awkward for the both of us. And I'll just, I'll, how, about, how about this? If you need to remove an article of clothing, I will tell you and then we can both be prepared for it. How about that? All right, are you guys ready for the last story for today? I still just, can't believe this happened and I'm very embarrassed about it and the other person involved doesn't even know it happened which I'm very happy about because I feel like it would have been my fault for making us both feel really awkward but here we go so this story starts during a normal day in clinic it's a normal everyday clinic and residency I'm seeing my patients somebody comes in for somewhat of a sensitive complaint. I could tell he was kind of embarrassed about it, but it was no big deal for me because I see these things every day. So we talked about it, we went through it, we decided on a treatment, and he went on his merry way. So fast forward a week, maybe two weeks at the most, and it's a Friday or Saturday night, I'm out downtown with my friends, and we decide to stop in somewhere to get something to eat. And so it's a takeout place, I walk up to the register and I'm putting in my order and I say, oh my gosh, you look so familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? As soon as I said it, I knew exactly where I knew him from and I was just like, you dummy. But thank goodness he was like, hmm, no, I don't think so. And so I got my food, went over to the table, I was eating. Turns out the guy is getting off his shift and he comes over. He literally thought that I had been flirting with him and he starts asking me questions and he's like, do you usually go to these blah 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 events? And I was like, no. And the whole time I am just praying that he does not realize who I am because I feel so bad that I even said anything about recognizing him. And finally he stops talking to us, he says bye, it was maybe like 30 seconds and he walks out the door and I breathed the biggest sigh of relief. I felt so bad. In retrospect, I was being very stupid because all day I see patients in clinic. They're literally the only people I see aside from sometimes my friends outside of work. And so clearly if I see somebody and recognize them, it's most likely that I saw them in clinic or they work in the hospital or something like that. And so I will not make that mistake again. I am so glad that it didn't turn even more awkward by him recognizing me. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to my awkward stories. If you've had any awkward experiences at your doctor's office, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Monday.